Superbase and MongoDB offer very different data models, SQL versus no SQL, and that shapes everything about how they are used. And I've divided this video into key sections to help you explain the difference between these two. So first I will cover a platform overview, then we'll look at pricing and costs and more. So let's not wait any longer and dive into this video, starting off with a platform overview of Superbase. So Superbase launched in 2020 in the USA and is a Postgres-based backend platform with real-time features and built-in auth. MongoDB is launched in 2009 in the USA and is a NoSQL document database designed for flexibility and speed with JSON-style data. And what about pricing and costs? Well, Superbase offers a free tier and pay plans are starting at around $25 per month and MongoDB Atlas has a free plan and pay-as-you-go pricing for scaling. And now let's take a look at some features and tools. So Superbase supports SQL triggers and API generation, while MongoDB excels at unstructured data, fast querying, and flexible schemas. And let's make a final verdict between these two. And I would say choose Superbase if you prefer structured SQL workflows, and choose MongoDB if your app needs flexible, schemaless data handling. Let me know in the comments down below which of the two you like the most, and which of the two you're planning on using. Anyway, I hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like and consider subscribing and then I'll see you in the next one.